I guess people, you know, make rude comments about me being uh, City Harvest lawyer, and I think it's uh, regarded as uh, not something that uh, you know a PAP MP should be doing, or not something that a senior lawyer should be doing. I must say that I don't make any apologies for that. I would do it again. Are you suggesting that a PAP MP who is also a lawyer will not act for a criminal? Or are you suggesting a PAP MP who is also a doctor should not be treating a criminal? Where, what are those standards? Why do we draw that line? I had perhaps a, a more rose-tinted view of what a PAP candidate uh, would be facing. I, mean, I went into it thinking, you know, this is the PAP team, you know, it would be all, all things as per normal. I would say there was quite a bit of complacency. I think the re realisation didn't come home until, you know, the 2011. The sense that Singaporeans were being marginalised in our own country, squeezed out of the MRTs, literally and figuratively, were real. Once we get into a situation where the opposition only takes pot shots at policies without being constructive and then offering something back in return, I'm not sure that's constructive. So the government says GST needs to be raised, not in this decade, but mm. soon. Um, and uh, opposition then votes against the budget on that basis. I, I listened to their speeches, I, I didn't discern any other major objection. So on the basis that it's going to be raised in the future, voted against the budget, I, I felt that was not constructive.